Hi everyone, I am back. We've had a little bit of an issue here on the farm with bugs from all the rain. And just to give you a little background, <clears throat> these bugs are so small, sometimes you don't feel them biting you and the welts don't show up for hours later. So it, it was quite a mystery for us to discover what was going on and me and some of my family members have had some allergic reactions so what I wanted to do is show you a home remedy for bug bites that is a fraction of the cost and frankly it just works a whole lot better at the end of the video I'm going to show you a before and after picture just to give you some idea of how wonderfully this works. So um, here we go. I'm going to make the remedy in this little cup here. Um, I at first just soaked in the Epsom salt, but you know, frankly, I don't have time to do that all the time, and we've had quite a lot of bug bites to. Um, to do that is just not something we can do every day. So what I decided to do was just make a concoction. Um, what you see there is just aloe vera gel that you can get anywhere, the drugstore or grocery store. And then just some Epsom salt. And I do try to do about equal portions, actually. Here's the Epsom salt. And you'll probably have salt streaks on you, but it's a lot better than the alternative. And then what I put in here is some grape seed extract. And the only kind I have right now is this itch relief spray from Nature's Pearl. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of that. The itch relief spray, um, grape seed extract. I just think it helps heal the um, bites quicker. The Epsom salt draws out, um, I guess, the venom or whatever the bugs are actually inserting to cause the welts and reaction that I'm having to the bites. And the aloe vera gel is just very, very soothing. So all I'm going to do is stir this up, and the Epsom salt dissolves rather quickly, actually. So... I'm going to apply this to the bug bites once a day after my shower. Sometimes I do more than once a day, depending on how bad they are. It's almost all dissolved, so I just did equal portions of aloe vera and Epsom salt and a little grapeseed extract. You don't have to do that if all you have is Epsom salt. Really, that's what's going to dry these bug bites down and draw out the venom stuff they put in there that makes you itchy and gives you welts. I'm going to show you a before and after picture that's actually a lot worse, but I'm going to show you then I just apply it. So, here's some bug bites. It doesn't take long for it to dry, so I don't have enough time to soak in a tub with Epsom salts. So this is what I do. So right now I'm going to show you a picture of my leg. Uh, the second day I got my bug bites, and then after applying one application of this Epsom salt stuff, what it looked like the day after. Home Remedy helps you out, and if I find anything that's really good at getting rid of them off of your, out of your shed or out of your lawn, I'm going to go ahead and post that too right now. We're just trying to get rid of the bugs. Don't forget to thumbs up the video in the bottom left hand corner, 
and subscribe in the top left hand corner.